Okay, so Chloe and I are here today and we are just messing around with our new TI Inspire CAS calculator and ours happens to be a, a CX. But let me give you guys a little help with this. If you don't care about the color part, then all you have to do is take your calculator, your CAS calculator, and update it to a 3.0. And if you only ha if you check your um, system, your operating system, it's a 1.4, you actually have to upgrade it to a 1.7 and then you can uh, upgrade it to a 3.0. But this will work on your CAS if it's updated to a 3.0. So here we go. Uh, first thing you saw that I did was I was at that ho at that first screen on the calculator. On the left-hand side, it says scratch pad. On the right-hand side, it says documents. You want the right-hand side. You want where it says documents, and you want a new document, and it'll ask you if you want to save your old document. That's 100% up to you. But from here, we're going to go, um, Chloe, and we're going to add graphs, right? So we're adding graphs. Chloe's nodding her head. Um, okay. So from there, you're going to go to your menu button. My menu is already here, but on your calculator, go to the menu button, and you're going to see all this stuff. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to view. Is that right? Yeah. You're going to go to view, and right here it says 3D graphing. And once you've gotten here, your mission is complete. If you try to graph it outside of 3D, if you try to graph it on a plane, it's not going to take, and it's going to give you a bunch of syntax errors. So make sure that you're in 3D graphing. And then all we're going to do here, remember that we have everything in terms of Z. So Z as a function of X and Y. So the first thing we're going to put, we put in here, uh, we put in this saddle, and it looks like this. So it's X to the fourth minus Y to the fourth. So just X to the fourth power, right? Remember to use your cursor so you're not stuck up here. Minus Y to the fourth power, and Voila. Now, if you have a CX and you have this in color, but if you have your CAS and your CAS is updated to a 3.0, you have the exact same thing. You just have it in black and white. So this is pretty. This is pretty cool, right? Um, from here, what we can do is this. We can go to Tools. We can go to Actions. That's for you. That's Menu and then Actions. And then look. Just make choice number two to rotate. And if you read carefully up here, it tells you what to do. And it says to rotate. Use the arrow keys to rotate horizontally or vertically and what they're saying is these buttons here so check this out this is really cool right yeah I'm kind of into this it's kind of cool how am I going to use it I haven't decided yet I'm, I'm a teacher but I haven't decided how I'm going to use it yet but we just start off with the fact it's really cool okay and then we have this really really cool so you can see and there are all these really cool curves that you can put in here um, be a great way if you had to do a presentation in your calc class to freak your professor. Don't tell him how you did it, though. Let it be your secret. Okay, let's let's just drop another one in. Um, I think what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, I'm going to go back and I'm going to insert graphs again because I don't want to see them both at the same time. So I'm going to insert graphs, and then I'm going to go through the same process, and that's what's important for us. If you look right now, we're back at f of x, so we don't want that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your menu button. Here's my menu button. You're going to go to view, remember? And then from view down to 3D graphing, choose that. And when you see this... Uh, these, this three-dimensional set right here, you know you're in the money end. Uh, this is the other one that we, I think Chloe and I like a lot. We put in sine of x plus y squared. So just typed in. You can put it in from here if you want. The sine function's up here somewhere. I just type it in. So here's the sine function. Remember, if you have sine here, if you put in the x here, see, look, look what just happening. It's really important. You see sine here, it's it's in standard print and what that's saying your calculator is saying to you let's go back one more space right now it's back in italics when you type in the n for sine it says that your calculator recognizes this if you try to put in sine of x this way your calculator doesn't recognize this as a function so what you have to do is open up the parentheses this is just good clever use of your calculator sine x and Chloe we decided to put what plus or minus okay plus y squared and we graph that like that. That is really, really cool. And you can see the sine function here, can't you? This is really, really cool. Uh, again, just to, we are reminding ourselves how we did all this stuff. We're going to go to rotate, so go back to your menu screen. This is my menu screen for me. Go to actions, right? Hit rotate, and then remember that you're going to use the cursors here on your, on your handheld, right? And this is so cool. Yeah. Okay. So I think we want to just show you uh, one more, and then I think we have this figured out how we do this, right? So let's go through that process one more time. 
we're going to go to insert, right? Uh, for you, you can just go back to your home screen. And just put insert graphs, right? You insert your graph. Remember here that we're we're on the Cartesian plane here, and that we want to be in, in three-dimensional space. So we're going to have to go to tools. We're going to go to view. From view, we're going to go down to 3D graphing. And then from 3D graphing, we're going to drop this one. And this one happens to be rational. So just as a quick way to remind you of how to use a calculator, control division gives you this fraction bar. And what we're going to use is 3x squared, 3x squared, right, Chloe? We're going to use this cursor here to push this down to the denominator. And we're going to put in, what do we use? 7y to the fourth. Is that what old Lenny boy wanted? 7 y and he said that a fourth is that what he wanted the fourth power and let's see what this looks like and hit enter wow it's not as cool looking as i had hoped okay <laughs> sorry uh, again go to tools right because we're gonna move this around actions right you have to practice this a bunch of times so when you give your presentation in class that you look like you're a professional at this and we're just going to use this aren't we you can graph more than one at one t uh, time look we can add one let's add one of the other ones we have chloe what do you want to use the first one, okay, so x to the fourth, right, and it was minus y to the fourth, is that right? y to the fourth, and check out what this does. This is, huh? Did I mess up? Oh, thank you. Good job, Chloe. So she caught the fact that I wasn't paying attention. This happens. Make sure you go right here to this cursor, and it'll move this thing down. Good job, Chloe. Thanks. And it's y to the power of four, isn't it? And enter. That is really cool looking, isn't it? Dun, 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 sorry, sorry. Okay, so you were hoping I was going to be more mature than this. Get over it. Sorry, you guys. Um, so what are we going to do here? Tools, just real quick. Tools and actions, right, Chloe? Rotate and rotate, and then go back to our cursors, and we can turn this around, and we can see where these equations intersect, can't we? That's really, really amazing. Absolutely cool. Okay, you guys. I hope it was helpful. Um. When are you going to use this? I don't know, but if you could give me some comments, I would love to hear from you how you're using this in your AP Cal class or possibly in your trade class. That would be great for me. So thanks. Hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks, Chloe.